evolution of sound. Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome to the complete guide to Master Silent One. Today, we're gonna be at the mod envelope section where the big boys come out to play. And if you know what I mean by big, oh yeah, the belly. Now, but this is where literally it gets a little bit complicated because in the last video, we talked about the amp envelope. In this one, we are talking about the envelope, but the only difference here is that we have a couple of things that we need to discuss. Now, the first thing is, is that we can go into negative change and pot now. Um, in Amp Envelope Bay, you can only go positively because sound doesn't go below zero and there is no negative 20 below sound or whatever. <clears throat> the next thing is that pretty much, you know, we can route this to anything we want and it's going to react a bit differently than audio, obviously. So the first thing to note is you're going to have your mod envelopes down here. We can left click and we can route it to various parameters in the oscillator section in the filters and in the misc which stands for other stuff in silent one you know if you guys ever been into 4chan slash misc i think or b or some shit like that but anyways let's get to it so we're gonna route this to the cutoff and we're gonna put a low pass and we're gonna close it completely now <clears throat> we want to open the, the cutoff that means we need to go into a positive change because we want to move up as you can see right now the cutoffs at zero if we move up you see it's a positive value so at 10 you know that's max value now here is the fun part that we didn't have over here and that's going to be this little black knob that can go all the way to the right at 10 and all the way to the left at negative 10 now what i want you guys to realize is that 10 doesn't mean right all the way to the right at 10 doesn't mean that it's going to open up the cutoff all the way to the right to 10. All it means is that it, there's going to be a change of 10 in whatever increment silent one has these envelopes set to it. So it could be 10 means a change of five for the cutoff. So only to the center. So just keep that in mind. Use your ears for this, because look, if we open this, you know, there's still some way, some leeway to open more, but you know, I could say fairly that this cutoff is opening around here. So it's not opening up all the way, but it's opening up around here. All right, knowing that pretty much, okay, so if we want this to open up all the way, we just got to move it up a tad bit, okay? So now, envelope ADSR is applying here the same way. It's applied. Pretty much, attack's going to decide how fast the change occurs, so how fast this knob is going to move to the max value. Decay decides how long it takes from it to go to the max value to the sustain level. Now, remember, if the sustain level is already set to max value, then there is no there is no decay, pretty much. Why? Because, pretty much, you know, we're already at 100, so there's no decay time. Even if the decay is set up all the way to the top, it does nothing. All right? So, <clears throat> the next important thing is the sustain. The sustain is going to be the value of the cutoff where it's going to be sustained at while you're holding the down the note. Remember, ADSR. The envelopes are not loopable. They, it's just a phase. As long as you have a note held down, it'll go into the it's attack phase, decay phase, then the sustain phase. So remember that. Remember that it's not loopable. That's the LFO, which we're going to talk about in the next video. So we hit the key. Pretty much what happens, cutoff goes straight to this value here. And there's decay. It doesn't matter what we set it at because our sustain set at 100% or all the way up. So it means it's going to stick around here until we let go. And the residence decides how long it takes for this to go back to where it came from. It's like, get your ass back with the release. So, boom, it goes straight there instantly because the release is set to zero. That means there is no time. It's like, boom, instantaneous. Now, <clears throat> let's add a bit of attack and you'll see it takes a little bit for the filter to open up. So now the cutoff is lagging a bit. And you can even do it more um, more exaggerated. So knowing that, remember that. You apply it to that. Now the decay, if we lower the sustain and we have a high decay, let's say around here, check this out. So attack instantaneously. Then it goes down into the sustain level and we're at the sustain level and let go. Boom. There you go. Now let's do sustain level at the halfway and put a super high decay. Or actually a really fast one actually. So attack, down. And we're at their sustain level. Now, if we give it more, attack, and there we go. We're slowly going down to the sustain level. Now, you know that sustain level is controlling that filter because look. So, remember, that's all you have to remember, guys. It's that simple. Now, the release, if we add any release, nothing's going to happen. And you want to know why? Because the sound's release, the amp envelope's release is not high so that means that this after you let go of the key the sounds instantaneously just going to go straight down so in order to get the release to work you have to have the amp envelope release up as well check this out if it's not nothing's happening i mean the filter is still going here and coming back slowly but nothing's happening so if we give it the release 
There you go. Now we get it. So it's that simple, guys. Now let's do this the opposite. Let's close the filter now. Now the reason I want you guys to think of the black filter as change as well is because if you go negative 10, you're still changing by a value of 10, but you're going in the opposite direction. Some of you guys that took physics already will know what I'm talking about. Now, if we do it, you know, closing it, you know, pretty much what's happening here is we go instantaneously here. Since sustain is all the way down, the cutoff just goes back and it decay decides how long it takes for it to go back. So, you know, we have a really long decay. See, it's taking its time to get back, open up because the cutoff's over here. Now the bad thing about this is we can't visualize it because we don't have serum, but if you can hear it, you guys know what's going on. Attack instantaneously. Now if we give it a really high attack, you're going to hear the filter close. It's going to reach that max point, and then with the decay, it's going to come back up, and that's going to decide how long it does it. And it's that simple, guys. That's ADSR for you. Now if you guys have any more questions about it, let me know. Leave a comment. I'll try and get back to you. And thanks a lot for following this series, guys. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and tomorrow we'll talk about the LFO section where even the bigger, more bigger boys come out and play.